Hi there, join me in this video when I go scuba diving. So at the moment I'm on holiday in Sorrento and I've booked myself on a scuba diving experience this morning. So I'm about to leave now to walk to the meeting point to pick up the, the coach to go to where we're going to do the scuba dive. I'm going to film it all on my GoPro so I'm going to get some really good underwater shots and I know that I'm really going to enjoy my photography. So scuba diving isn't something that I'm really experienced at. I've had a few goes in a swimming pool and I've also been in the sea once when I've been on holiday. But the beauty of doing this kind of thing is that you don't need a lot of experience. It's just giving you an idea of what it's like to be underwater. So many people will have snorkeled before and think that scuba diving is going to be the same, but it's absolutely nothing like. Um, it's so much easier than snorkeling because all you need is your tank on your back and your um, regulator in your mouth and you breathe normally you basically can't tell there's no effort involved at all you just get on with enjoying the underwater experience so many people will think scuba diving is difficult or requires experience it's not the case at all and doing something like i'm going to do today is a really good way of just getting a feel for whether it's something that you like but once you've done it once i'm sure you'll be hooked so after a short little trip in a minibus, we've arrived now at the dive centre. So I'm about to go down, get the instructions for um, everything that I need to do. So this booklet contains lots of information that I just need to familiarise myself with before I start the dive. So at the moment we're all ready to go. The dive boat's just here. We're going to go out on about a 15 minute um, little um, trip on the boat to get to the dive site. So very shortly I'm going to be given a wetsuit. I've already got some fins and then when we get onto the boat we'll be given the diving equipment, the tank and the VCD. So I'm sat on the boat now and the instructor's just done a check of the equipment. Because I'm not qualified, an instructor has to do it for me. But it's all ready to go, so we're about to set off into open water. So we've reached the dive site, um, it looks really nice, but from now on what I'm probably going to have to do is just um, do voiceover for everything that I film because I'm going to have to concentrate on all the gear and just um, staying alive underwater. Okay, so this is Vittoria, who's just about to get in the water now. She was our instructor, um, and there, there's me um, just getting ready to put on the tank. And the other girl just there, she's called Kana. She was a, a French lady. Um, and so we were both inexperienced. That's why we had to have Vittoria stay with us as a qualified instructor. So we're about to put the, the BCD on our backs, which is a buoyancy control device. Um, I've got mine on now and in my hand is a regulator that you use to breathe. Um, and then the first thing that we needed to do was just get used to breathing underwater. So we put our faces into the water and just tried breathing to make sure that was all okay. Now this bit of video is quite jerky because at the moment I was struggling to get the buoyancy correct. So I had to just change the amount of air in the buoyancy control device to make sure that you were neutrally buoyant so you could swim without actually um, going too high or too low. And you've just seen me squeeze my nose as well because as you go lower in the water you've got to equalize the pressure in your ears to make sure they don't become too painful. Um, and so the other thing that I was trying to do is remember to as well as dive properly is to 
film what I was seeing as well. Now, Vittoria is just pointing out things of interest, which she tended to do throughout the dive, um, but it was quite difficult remembering to um, film and control your um, buoyancy and stay at the right level and do all of that and just enjoy the dive as well. So those are the other divers just about to go deeper. Um, there's me um, equalizing the pressure in my ears again because you constantly had to keep doing that as you went deeper and deeper. Um, we could go down to about 10 meters um, and at that depth the pressure did really affect your ears until you just equalize the pressure. It's a bit like when you're on a plane and you've got to pop your ears to uh, make them feel comfortable again. Now Vittoria's just pointed out this little cave here um, that had got some red fish in them. Now I'm not going to even attempt to name them because um, I have no idea what they were but they were quite attractive. A little bit like the kind of fish you'd get in a tropical fish tank. Um, so those were quite interesting and then once I'd had a look I let Kana have a look as well. Um, so she's just having a look at the red fish as we speak. So then we're off somewhere else. There were lots of fish and what was amazing about it is that you could just reach out and touch them virtually. Now obviously we didn't do that because that wouldn't have been responsible to um, touch a fish in their environment. Um, and again here's me trying to just remember to do a selfie as well and try and actually be in the video. Um, now I don't know whether you can notice behind Vittoria is very still and very calm and both myself and Kana were flapping around like um, fish out of water almost because um, we just weren't as experienced. We did see a starfish here, um, that was quite interesting. But lots of other, these kind of fish that's on the screen now were very, very common. We quite often saw those kind of fish. And again, just notice how calm Victoria is. She did tend to swim with her uh, arms crossed and barely any movement at all. Was, um, you could tell she'd done it very, very regularly. Uh, it's more of those same fish again, right in front of us. Now, I was quite high at this point um, and Vittoria couldn't see me. And then you can tell that that look in her eye, she was saying, get back down here so I can see you because she obviously was responsible for our safety. Again, that was me thinking about um, the thumbnail for the video so I thought I'd better do a little bit of a um, pose to the camera that would be useful for a thumbnail. Nice shoal of fish here and um, the sun was just glinting off them as well so that was quite pleasant. And then we came across the other divers again and I thought I'd be fairly artistic at this point and try and swim through the bubbles that they were creating. I thought it might create quite a nice effect on the video. So here come some bubbles straight out the GoPro. There we go. Um, again, a little bit more of a selfie. Just trying to, you can tell now that my swimming is a little bit calmer. I don't know what I was thinking of there. I think I was probably thinking more of a thumbnail again, but I don't know what I was pointing for. I don't really remember at all. And as the dive progressed, I got a little bit more creative with the shots that I was doing. Here is um, trying to show off the fish and I've worked out that they showed up better if they were backlit by the sun. Um, but there was just so many of them. And here again is a bit of an artistic shot going from Vittoria there through the fish up to the sun through the, the surface of the water just to try and create those rays of the sun. And again, as the dive progressed, I did think I got better at um, filming the fish. Now at this point, there's Vittoria giving the sign that the air was getting low in the tanks. So it was time to start thinking about calling the dive to an end. So this is where the boat was tied up to, this um, boy that was underwater. Um, now the idea was just to start to swim towards the surface and not actually inflate the buoyancy control device until you were actually on the surface because um, otherwise you would end up going up to the surface like a rocket but there was one of the other guys from the boat who was doing a little bit of free diving I think but there we are back on the surface um, that's the end of the dive um, and here's me 
being really pleased with myself. So we're back on the surface and what an amazing experience that was. We were probably underwater for the best part of 35 minutes. Um, no problems at all, really enjoyable and such an out of this world experience. I hope that the video is really good as well uh, and does justice to what I saw underwater. Well, that's been a really different video and if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to let me know down below or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at The Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photos. Now, if you like what I do on the channel, don't forget you can always support me by visiting my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so go and check that out. There's lots of new designs there uh, and anything that you buy is really appreciated and it really helps me out. Don't forget also the super thanks button down below, but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel you can do that simply by clicking like subscribe and the bell notifications because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon